good day folks welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here please uh, don't forget to subscribe welcome and those who are not new here welcome back i'm doing the the prelim exam of the 2024 in Gauteng province it's a very interesting question now it says a battery with an unknown emf right um, and internal resistance of 1 ohm is connected to three resistors, a light bulb, a high resistance voltmeter, a switch, and an ammeter of negligible resistance as shown below. The resistance of a light bulb is 4 ohms, and the resistance of the three resistors is 3, 2R, 1R, 6R, respectively. Guys, let's look at the circuit. Very important. Um, in the circuit, we have, um, I don't know what is do, why is doing that, yeah. In the circuit here, we have a battery with an internal resistance, right? And then there's a voltmeter that is connected across the terminals of the battery. And there's the bulb, and we can see the parallel there, there's a switch, and we're given the ammeter there with the reading there, right? Guys, let's let's look at the current the current is going to move from the positive terminal of the battery it's the total current right it's the total current and then when it gets to that junction there's a split there is a fraction of the current that will go through there okay let me it will go there and there right and a part of the total current there is a current that is going to go that way and that way and that way which means that these two lines are what are parallel and then it combines together and passes the light bulb right and the light bulb there's a total current that passes here so now we can conclude that this circuit is a combination right so guys now if you look at the two resistors the R1 and R2, they are in series in a parallel line. So this is series to this one. So the combination of these two, they amount to this one, right? They are, no, no, no. The combination of these two resistors, they are parallel to this one, right? Even the voltmeter, do you know the voltmeter in parallel section is equivalent? So the voltage here and the voltage here are equal. But that voltage, the voltage of this plus the voltage of this is equal to that, right? Very important. So now what do we have? This ammeter reading, it reads this section of parallel. It says it's two amperes so the current that passes here out of the total there it's two amperes now let's look at this r3 we are told r3 is six times r and then this one is two r and this one is three r in total they make what three r which is the three r is the half of what of six r all right so the smaller the resistance the bigger the current so this simply means that the current that passes here it's two times this one because this current this resistance it's two times less than this one so the current here is going to be what 0 0.4 amperes i hope that i make sense by that the resistance here it's two times the resistance the total resistance of this lane so the current it's going to be two more or the current of this one it's going to be two more um, I wanna, the current here it's going to be two more than this one because the resistance here is two more than the resistance here so this resistance here it's two times less the current is going to be two times more than this one I hope I make sense let's leave that now now that we know the current there um, yeah okay let's move on let's move on to the questions define the EMF guys I'm not gonna go there we're gonna go there exam guideline which switch when switch s is closed this switch is closed 
of course this reading we got it um, by when switch is closed when switch edge is closed the current through the ammeter is 0 0.2 yeah and the potential difference across r1 is 6v where is r1 the r1 is this one so the voltage here is what is 6v right so we got the voltage there so the voltage if it's 6v the voltage here it doesn't mean this is 6v it doesn't mean this is 6v it means the 6v plus this whatever voltage in v2 is equal to that one right okay let's look at the resistance the r1 is two times r and r2 is one r so that means if the resistance here is two times um, and this is two times this one that means uh, the resistance is directly proportional to the voltage that means the voltage there is what is 3v right I, I hope I make sense by that because the voltage and the resistance are directly proportional so if it's this resistance is two times this one and the voltage is what is six that means that this one is one times less than this which is it's what it's it's two times less than this one is going to be 3v okay let's move on um now it says write down the value of v2 do you see the value of v2 is it it's one mark they know if you know this is 6v and it's 2r and then this is 1r okay let's do this let me try this let me try this let's do the ratio and it says 2r is to 1r and then we have in 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 2r we have 6 volts and then we are looking for this one so when we cross multiply there i hope i hope i hope um it's going to work 2r x is equal to six times it's going to be six v r and then what do we want we want x we're going to divide by two r we divide by two r and then this and this will cancel so yeah it's, it, it's working so this and this cancel it's going to be what three v okay perfect okay this is three v that's how we got three v so the answer there is what it's three v and then the current through the r2 where's r2 we want the current that passes here so if the current uh, um yeah as i've mentioned guys here that the current here it's gonna be it's gonna be 0 0.4 volts um it's 0 0.4 volts um i'm not gonna show you 0 0.4 mps i'm not going to show you how to do that guys it's one mark you can figure it out how to do that one okay let's go to 8.3 it says calculate the resistance of what of r3 right the resistance of r3 8.3 so we're looking for so we're going to use the formula v is equal to ir we are looking for r3 and uh, do we have the voltage here yes we do if the voltage of r1 is 6v and the voltage of r2 is 3v the combination of the two makes what 9v that means this one is what is 9v why because the voltage in parallel is the same so we're going to say there the voltage is 9 we divide by the current and the current that passes here it's 0 0.2 um so when we do that the answer it's going to be what 45 45 watt ohms so the resistance here is 45 ohms right and uh, now let's let's go to 8.4 8.4 it says calculate the value of the emf right the value of the emf do we have the total current yes we can have the total current and this is 0 0.4 and is 0 0.2 when they combine they give you what 0 0.6 mps that's the total current right do we have the external resistance the external resistance we do not have right we do not have so let's first calculate what is the resistance here what is the resistance for R1 and R2, right? Um, the way we're going to do that 
it's very important to understand okay let me erase this now because it's so dirty let me write the important this is fix v and this is going to be 3v and this is going to be 9v and the resistance here is 45 and the current here it's 0 0.4 mps and yeah yeah and uh, we want from this formula we're going to use calculating the emf emf is equal to i r external plus r internal let's ask ourselves what do we have we're looking for this we have the current we don't have that we have that so that means the first thing that we have to do to calculate the the external resistance which is the external resistance when i talk about the external resistance i'm talking about this parallel plus this right which is going to be this right so let's calculate the r which is the r external which is the r external is made up of the r series which is the light bulb plus the parallel which is um these but remember we must add these two and then plus the r parallel so the r the r series is the light bulb which is 4 plus the r parallel remember I must add these two right I must add these two um, okay let me say r series so that you can have an idea of what I'm talking about plus um, when I add those two it's r1 plus r2 so I'm gonna add r1 okay let me make a small bracket r1 plus r2 times by r3 I'm making the parallel and then r1 plus r2 plus r3 and then I substitute the parallel the series uh, the series is 4 and the r1 ah, the r1 I do not know right the r1 I do not know and it's very important the r1 i do not know how i'm going to get the r1 first now i know the current that passes here right i know the current that passes here okay how am i going to get it how am i going to get it okay let's do this way let's do this way so um i'll calculate the r1 first v over i which is do I have the voltage there I have the voltage here for R1 it's 6 I'll say 6 divided by 6 divided by the current at 0 0.4 6 divided by 0 0.4 let me press it in the calculator 6 divided by 0 0.4 which is going to be 15 ohms so the current there it's 15 ohms and then R2 it's going to be and the voltage what is the voltage in r2 it's 3v it's 3v divided by 0 0.4 3 divided by 0 0.4 it's 7.5 7.5 ohms i'm going to show you the other way to do that so let's it's going to be 15 r1 times 7.5 why do i make this big bracket it's wasting time it's 15 plus 7.5 um, times the R3. The R3 is 45, remember. It's 45, 45 ohms, not V, 45 ohms. Divide by 15 plus 7.5 uh, plus now. Plus 45. Remember this, this section, guys, you can do it by using 1 over R1 plus 1 over r2 that you can do that um, then when you punch that in the calculator you get 19 ohms you get 19 ohms that's the answer right there right so we are done with the r external so we can go back to this you can say e is equal to i times into r plus i and then the current the total current is 0 0.6 and the r external it's 19 plus 1 and then the answer there it's going to be what 12 v we got the answer there
we got the answer there cuz uh, the other way to get this um is is what is what mm, i just can't i just can't get it now um if this is 6r um which is it's 45 and then the total here it's 3r ah whatever guys whatever guys i can't i can't just just get just get um can't think of it now i had it on my mind um now we are in the graph question it says a separate circuit a a, a variable resistor is connected to the battery with an unknown potential difference as seen in the diagram below so they're doing an investigation here you know um, it says the graph below shows the relationship between the power dissipated in the resistor and the resistor the resistance of the resistor so if you look at this graph guys this is power and the inverse um what is the relationship between the resistance and the power from the formula that says power is equal to v squared over r you can see there it's an inverse the power is inversely proportional to resistance right um inversely proportional so if you plot the graph of that is going to be a graph like this it's power and resistance but if you make the inverse of the resistance um the graph is going to be like this do you see the graph it's one over r it's an inverse of the resistance it's going to be directly proportional right guys if we do the gradient here if we do the gradient here change in y over change in x um the gradient here it's going to be change in y over change in x which is the change in y it's going to be power divided by um the change in x it's 1 over r so mathematically the power is divided by 1 um power divided by 1 and then if you change this division into a multiplication it's going to be r over 1 and then it's going to be p r right the p r um if you change the power into v squared over r and then you times by r and this and this will cancel it's going to be v squared so the gradient here it's what it's a v squared it's a square potential difference right i hope i make sense by that it says use the graph to calculate the potential difference across the resistor so when they mean by that they want um they want this v not a v square no right so you you, you they wanted the square root of this gradient the square root of this gradient so by answering this question here the 8.5 8.5 you're going to say you're going to take two points let's say we're going to take this point and this point this point is zero and zero and this point it's 10 and uh, 1000 right so i'm going to say the gradient which is it's v square that's the gradient it's going to be change in p over change in one over r which is it's going to be um the final it's going to be 1000 minus what zero divide by divide by 10 minus zero it's going to be 100 remember we want v but the answer that we have it's v squared is equal to 100 that's the gradient right that's the gradient so what do we want what do we want we want v we put the square root the square root of 100 is going to be uh it's going to be 10 it's 10v that's how we get the answer i hope it makes sense guys cheers bye